So the Philadelphia 76ers have been eliminated from the NBA playoffs. And I think that the big question we all have to ask ourselves is what comes next for them? Brandon and I did a podcast before the NBA returned a few weeks ago, and we're talking about the pressure that was on Philadelphia for them to win in this playoffs. And if they didn't, what was going to happen? Now, granted, Ben Simmons, one of their star players, was injured before the playoffs started, but they still come out against Boston and really weren't competitive outside of Game 1 in the beginning of Game 2. And I think that the question now is, who all is going their separate ways from Philadelphia? First of all, I want to say that I think that Brett Brown has probably coached his final game in a Philadelphia 76ers polo on the sideline. You know, he was there for seven years and endured the rebuild and, you know, got them to some success. But I think all those years of purposeful tanking and the furthest you can make it is the Eastern Conference semifinals. That's a bit of a problem. We're not even going to talk about the draft blunder that was the Markel Fultz pick in 2017, whereas the Celtics took Jason Tatum. Now, granted, I mean, it's always a crapshoot in the NBA draft, but still, I think if the 76ers had drafted Jason Tatum instead the story would have been a lot different so what kind of things can we expect to happen for these teams so so like I said Brett Brown's probably gone what happens to Joel Embiid Joel Embiid has looked miserable on the sideline the last few games for the 76ers I think that he may have played his last game he may demand a trade and of course Ben Simmons has now suffered a few injuries and missed the entire playoffs for them and I think that's a bit of a mess and then you have Tobias Harris who has a huge contract and people were kind of questioning his productivity in the playoffs but one thing I want to say about Tobias Harris you can you know knock his play in the playoffs but you can't knock the dude's a warrior I mean he smacked his head off the hardwood floor in today's game against the Celtics and had a blood coming from his eye and he went back out there and finished the game so just an absolute warrior and a professional and then there's the questionable Al Horford contract which I mean not all these decisions can be on Brett Brown some of it's the GM too but Brett Brown said that he was going to go star hunting and brought home Al Horford, and he really struggled in this playoff series. And reportedly, Brett Brown did not want to re-sign Jimmy Butler because he did not want to deal with him. And of course, Jimmy Butler has gone on to do really good things in Miami. So overall, just a complete mess in Philadelphia. And I'm just curious in asking myself the question, what is going to happen? What are they going to do now? Because I don't think you can just say, all right, we're going to run it back. Because how many years in a row can you say we're going to run it back and then nothing happens? I think Joel Embiid, based, this could be completely off base, based on his body language on the sideline and in the games, he doesn't look to be happy in Philadelphia. He looks to be very miserable in Philadelphia. Ben Simmons, I have no idea, but... You know, we're going to have to see how he comes back from the injury. And then, of course, Tobias Harris and Al Horford. It might be a little bit difficult to do something with those contracts, especially the Al Horford contract. He's scheduled to make over $100 million, and he looked a little bit washed in this playoffs. But it's going to be interesting for them going forward. And I just kind of wanted to ask the question, what happens next? So I want to thank you all again for listening. If you like what you heard, maybe give a subscribe to the ATJ Sports Realm YouTube channel and check out the other content I have. Thank you again.